Yo, yo, we're back in After Effects. And in today's video, I got you guys with the sauce. I'll be showing you how to create this crazy thermal type of effect. Inside the After Effects, we'll be actually using a plugin called Spectrum to do this. It's by Fred Pele and it's totally crazy at making those thermal effects really easily inside of After Effects. So I'm gonna show you how to create it. So in my timeline, you can see I have this clip pulled up to add the effect on. And in the right side, I also have Spectrum loaded up and ready to go. If you install correctly, you just have to go over to Windows, Extension, and Spectrum and just load it up pretty easily like that. Anyways, to launch it, go over to the S and just hit launch like that. And it will like bring up this crazy UI and, and get you on this new comp as you can see. So if you want to download Spectrum, I'll link it in the description. It's totally worth it. And if you use the code ASIM at checkout, you will get $5 off, which is really great. And the UI of this Spectrum is really crazy. This type of plugin UI used to be on other applications like FS Studio and stuff. But it's really cool to see we're getting these type of UI on After Effects as well. But anyways, in here, you can control the intensity, control like the contrast and stuff. But, but we're going to go over to the slider and sliders until we land on S5. I think this is the best pressure right here. These are all cool as well. S6 and stuff. S4 is a really cool one. But I really do like S5 so we're gonna use this one and in here we're gonna add a noise and we're gonna remove the overlay actually so set it to null then you can just enable the colors I, this type of color really matches like those k suave music videos so it's really cool then after that just hit confirm and we're done and we're done with the thermal effects now and in your timeline you might see your png sequence is still there because we don't need like the overlays and stuff right now and now firstly just duplicate your clip the original clip and i'll name it like something like an original clip clip on the bottom one and for the top one you can call it like spectrum so spectrum like that then in the original clip just remove the sp alert and then selecting your spectrum precom just go over to here on the spy hide all spy layers and just turn it off and you will see like this adjustment layer so just select those and we're gonna just precom both of these up now we can again like rename it to spectrum and if i hide this you can see our thermal effect is on a different layer and our original clip is also separated so that's exactly what we want to start off so now we'll start adding those crazy effects on it so firstly we're gonna make it like fade out so hit t on the keyboard to bring up the opacity and hit the stopwatch in it go a bit further towards the end and set that to zero you can make the first keyframe t frame forward so it's like start fading like that that looks cool right there then now you have this crazy spectrum fade out but in the original clip you can see my artist is like pouring a wall so i think it will be really cool to like sign it out and to make it glow so to do that firstly we're just gonna like hit ctrl d on that clip and put it after my spectrum then you can just take a rotor brush tool and start rotoscoping out the bottle and the walk as well then after your rotoscope is done just freeze it so it's locked in properly and we won't have problems in the future so freezing is done just go back to your composition panel and you can see our bottle and the walk is like selected out and the spectrum is not affecting it that's exactly what we want so now in here we're gonna apply a new lot in so now you can just pick on the rotoscope layer and move all attributes into a new layer and hit v on a keyboard to bring back your selective tools and then you can just double click on the original clip and go into the precom. So in here you can see we have the bottle only and in here we just gonna launch the spectrum again and firstly let's just turn off the overlays and you can go through and select a cool one in here. So something different maybe something like S8 looks cool on it. Yeah that's pretty cool I guess. Nah I think let's just go with the 5 which is the original one and we're just gonna turn on the noise on it and the colors as well and just hit confirm then just go back to your original comp the spectrum comp and now we can see it is like blending with it because we use like the same preset on both of those to fix that we're just gonna add a color balance sls and hit the stop us on the hue go over to the end and just make it like one cycle so it like cycles through the color as you can see and it looks so psychedelic and cool then now in it you can add like a deep glow to glow it off so a deep glow mess with the threshold and bring up the radius for sure then just head over to the all mold and just hit that so now you can see our bottle 
is like really glowing that's exactly what we want you can always bring it up more also done with the bottle thing but one thing i also like to do is duplicate my spectrum layer and just toggle switches and modes and in the spectrum too i just like to set it to overlay so as you can see it's a bit like contrasty which i really love and you can even always add like hue and saturation in it and make it a uh, one cycle as well so we have this like crazy disco color going on but i don't really like it so let's just turn it off for now but you can do that if you like but now you can leave it right here but we're gonna spice it up with more effect and more texture as well so to add more texture i'm gonna use brian's ultimate texture pack v2 if you want to download it i'll link it in the description comes with a lot of paper textures and you can also use the same code asim to get five dollar off but anyways you can see i have it pulled up right here so i'm gonna go to print paper overlay scratch and just use the high risk scratch 24 fps and you can just lower down the scale a bit and you can just lower down the scales a bit i don't really like the edges of this so let's just like bring it up so it's like a paper texture only then you can set the blending mode to screen but a crazy thing you can do is just mess around with like blending modes if i set it to like color dodge you can see all this crazy texture damn that looks hard bro linear dodge is a cool one linear color as you can see it gives like a different looks i really love so you can go through all of these like overly that's really contrasty right there so you can go through all of these but i think i'm gonna use the screen and use like a curves in it and make a simple like s curve to bring up the texture more and lower down the shadows we have this like crazy texture moving now we're gonna select our spectrum layer and hit you to bring up all the opacity keyframe copy that and just paste it on this paper layer as well so it like fades out with it you can even like fade it out more if you like so something like that looks cool to me as more texture and as always you can just mess around with blending modes if you like i think let's just go with screen for now then after this you can just select all of your layer and just pre-comp it and just pre-comp it move all attributes into a selected layer and just hit ok then after that you would have all of your effects on a single layer now we're gonna add some sapphire effects to top it off so the first effect in here you can add is a sapphire hotspot so just add it into that clip and go over to the threshold 0.8 or something like that and put it around like in the middle then just go over to the first frame make it to zero then go over to the last frame and make it to zero as well so we have like this flick of light going on that gonna transition to our original clip so that will be really cool you can even like decrease the amount a little bit because i think that's too much then you can just easy those keyframe go into graph and make the first graph something like this so it happens like really quickly so something like that that looks pretty cool right there and to blend it all i like to add a sapphire blur directional put it before your hotspot make the angle to 90 and just hit the stopwatch on the blur amount head over to the first frame set it to something like zero go over to the last frame set it to zero as well and you can just ease those keyframes up like that and make the same graph on it so something like this oh now i really think the threshold amount is too much so let's just lower it down to something like 300 so it is not like that crazy bit out and i think on the graph make it a little a bit like slow as well so it ain't like that tight so something like that i guess but now you can select the keyframes of the blur directional go into graph again and make it a little more tight so something like this and make the same graph on the second value as well so it's a bit fast yeah that looks much better right there then we're gonna add a flicker in here hit the stoppers on the amplitude go into those keyframes and just bring it up to like 1.3 or something like that put it before your hotspot and just go over to the end again and reset it then select those keyframe easy ease go into graph as well and in here make a similar graph so something like this on the beginning only so a graph like this should work and you can always like move all these keyframes and test around so whatever works best for you then after all to top it all off we're gonna add a deep glow bring up the radius to around like 300 and lower it down the exposure to like 0.4 something around that then just bring up the threshold a little bit more hit the stopwatch in it and you can do the same thing with deep blow if you like so bring it up at here around this point you can just bring it up and just lower it back down to zero on the exposure so now finally our final result looks something like this so yeah that's it for today's video guys if you like this video 
video, please consider hitting the like button and also subscribe to my channel because I try to put crazy amount of effort on every single tutorial of mine and I would really appreciate it if you just hit the subscribe button means a lot to me. Download Spectrum in the description, you can download the texture pack as well. So yeah, see you in the next video. Peace.